Our third and final concert of our piping weekend is our Scottish Music Showcase. The evening starts out with Cape Breton piper Barry Shears. Next, we move to Scotland with pipe maker and player Finn Moore. Our third piper of the evening features Appalachian music with Tim Cummings. And our final piper of the evening will be Michael Roddy. Please enjoy the music. Hello, uh, my name is Barry Shears. I've been asked to uh, say a few words about myself and to play a few tunes from the Cape Breton dance tradition on pipes. I grew up in a small uh, coal mining town called Glace Bay on Cape Breton Island and uh, been playing for over 62 years now. Um, a variety of pipes. Uh, the last 35 years I have spent um, researching older forms of music among uh, the remnants of the Scottish settlers that came from Scotland in the early uh, 19th century. Uh, first, all, first off, I'd like to uh, thank the organizers of the Upper Potomac Piping Weekend. Um, and I'm very privileged to have been asked to uh, participate in the concert this evening and to uh, facilitate a couple of the sessions during the weekend. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, if you can make a donation to, uh, to the organizers, I'm sure they'd really appreciate it. Uh, my first tune this evening is gonna be played, uh, the entire set is gonna be played on the Scottish Small Pipes, of course. First tune is a, it's from Scotland originally, but it had died out there and it was retrieved in Cape Breton from a Gaelic singer. It is called Gakawudak Me, uh, which translated into English means my little finger has left me. And as pipers, we all know how important that little finger is. Uh, the details surrounding the tune and uh, how it was played can be found in uh, my recent collection of history and music, uh, Play It Like You Sing It, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Uh, the tunes you're going to hear tonight uh, are, are available, also available in that collection. I start off with a Strass Bay after the Gaelic air called McIsaac Strass Bay. And I learned that from the MacArthur Pipers on the west coast of Newfoundland. There's a small uh, Gaelic speaking area there where they play pipes and fiddle by ear. I moved from there into a tune from down north, what we call Northern Cape Breton. Um, it's co just called a traditional down north Strass Bay. Uh, it was common among pipers and fiddlers. I uh, segue from there into Devil in the Kitchen Strass Bay and then Devil in the Kitchen Reel. I learned the Strass Bay, it's based on Ella Curry's setting and uh, the reel is again uh, of from the northern tip of Cape Breton, uh, played by the McKinnon Pipers down there. I move on into a, uh, a older setting of the reel, the well-known reel High Road to Linton and that was taken from the playing of Captain Angus J. McNeil and his manuscript. Uh, Captain Angus J. Uh, died during the Spanish flu epidemic, uh, but his manuscript was carefully cared for by his descendants, and it's just uh, most of the tunes in that collection are also uh, in my new book. From there, I move into an old setting of Sleepy Maggie, which in the old collections is called Are You Sleepy Maggie? Uh, there might have been English words to it, I'm sure there were Gaelic words sung to it as well. It's a three-part setting, and the second turn has a bit of syncopation in it. And I learned that from the late Alec Curry, who was a dance player. He died in 1987. Um, I spent several hours with Alec learning his music, and he told me that uh, during the 1930s, he used to play for social dancing at the hall in French Vale five nights a week. Uh, so we had a lot of tunes, and uh, it's all geared for rhythmic dancing. Anyway, I hope you enjoy uh, this evening, and uh, congratulate the organizers again. And have a wonderful uh, time, and uh, all the best for 2021. It's got to be a lot better than 2020. Bye-bye. <laughs>
excited to be joined by Sarah on fiddle, my lovely wife, and we're going to play uh, a quick step and three jigs. <laughs> try a wee outside broadcast uh, seeing as it's a nice day uh, blue skies although we're just a wee bit after midday and the sun's already on its way down here um, at Funart or uh, Fjongorst or Fungarth which is uh, the three kind of different ways of pronouncing uh, where the workshop is now um, Funart would be the Scots Fjongorst would be the Gaelic and Fungarth is the English anyway the main reason for being out here uh, is uh, to have a wee look at the farmhouse here and uh, I wrote a tune for um, the family who had uh, farmed this area for over a hundred years and uh, the last uh, person, uh, Margaret uh, Hendry, who was um, here when we first moved to the workshop and her uncle Jim, they both had to move down to the village and so I wrote this tune um, in honour of uh, their family who um, had farmed this area 
And we actually moved into the standing buildings and um, there's wonderful pictures of Jim um, uh, using Clydesdale horses in the fields around here, uh, ploughing the fields. So the main part of the workshop is uh, where the Clydesdales used to uh, live. So um, yeah, it's a, it's kind of a, a lovely continuity, I think, of um, of the, the story. So, and just in the background, just beyond the house that way, uh, over there, that's uh, Loch of the Lows, uh, which is uh, a loch that has ospreys that come back to every year. So, Hopefully um, this is working okay, and um, I'm going to play a wee Gaelic air as well before it. I think that's all my fingers will manage. And then into a tune I wrote called Celebrating the McDougalls of Fungarth Farm. <laughs> So I'd like to play a set of three jigs and I'm calling this the McGordy sandwich set and uh, hopefully it's better than 
the other McDonald type sandwiches you get. But this is a great sandwich because uh, Gordy is sandwiched between Dr. Angus McDonald and Alan McDonald, the brothers from Glen Uick. So, starting off with a tune written by Dr. Angus, uh, Chloe's Passion, a great 9 8, into the Gordon Duncan tune called Pitlochry High School Centenary. Uh, I was very fortunate to uh, know Gordy when I was growing up. I um, mean, just lived about 15 miles away from uh, Dunkeld, so uh, many great memories of. Gordy. I'm finishing off with the Alan McDonald tune called I Have It Somewhere. I'm sure we've all said those that phrase once or twice in our lives. So here we go with the McGordon or McGordy sandwich set. <laughs> Hi there folks, uh, it's Finn Moore here. I hope you're enjoying your weekend and everybody's uh, keeping well. Um, here in Old Reiki, as some people would know it, um, Edinburgh town or Edinburgh city these days. And uh, this is Sarah. I don't know if you all have seen the last one. Well. <laughs> and uh, we're going to play three reels. Uh, the first one's called The Dogs, written by Jim Sutherland, a great composer and uh, pal over here. And he wrote this tune for my dad. And then into an old traditional one called The Black Haired Lad and finishing off with one I wrote myself um, called Wedding in the Woods uh, for a friend's wedding who happened to get married in the woods, hence the very ov obvious title. Okay, here we go, some reels. <laughs>
Hi everyone, I'm Tim Cummings, here representing the Upper Potomac Pipers Weekend uh, in Shepherdstown, West Virginia, though I'm here in Burlington, Vermont. We're glad you can join us. Thanks so much for your participation. Uh, I'm going to be offering three tunes just now on the small pipes, uh, Scottish small pipes with a C chanter. Um, these are tunes uh, with an Appalachian flavor. The first one I learned from Pete Sutherland. It's a song. I'm just going to play you the melody and not sing anything for you this time called Vance No More. And then that'll be followed by two hoedowns. The first one's called Donnie's in the Slop and the second one is Katie Bess of Tennessee. <laughs> For this second set, I'd like to play a familiar pipe tune known as McGregor of Rura, a 3-4 retreat march, and put this on the banjo rather than on the pipes. You've all heard it on pipes a thousand times. 
well, some of you might have anyway, uh, but I think it suits the banjo pretty well. And particularly if you tune the drone, even if you're in the key of A, down to G. It imparts a particularly curious and southern flavor to it this way. Uh, see what you think. Hi everyone, my name is Michael Roddy. Uh, it's a real pleasure to be with you this weekend as part of this virtual Piper's Weekend. I'm here with my son Ezra, who wanted to make an appearance here, who just woke up from a nap. Um, anyway, I'm going to play uh, three sets of tunes for you in our little virtual concert here. First is a set of jigs, starting with Snug in a Blanket. Uh, I learned from the, a recording of the great Ellen Piper, Liam O'Flynn, followed by a tune from the Goodman Collection, called Kissing and Drinking, a uh, very descriptive title. And finally, uh, wrapping that set up with Alan McDonald's version of Peggy's Wedding. After that, I'll play a Finley McDonald tune, a tune that he wrote for his son, uh, called Elliot Finn McDonald's, and then follow that up with The Humors of Tulla. And then I'll end with uh, a tune called The Bull's March. In Scotland, it's known as uh, Highland Lassie Going to the Fair but uh, this version is based a little bit more on the Irish uh, way of playing it. Uh, and follow that up with the four chords, and then finally uh, a, a reel called uh, Richard Dwyer's. I want to thank Joni and everybody at the Piper's Weekend for inviting me to participate in this, uh, for putting this all together during such a strange and difficult time, um, still managing to find a way for us all to make music together. So thank you all for all your hard work and uh, looking forward to meeting all of you in the classes this weekend. Thanks everybody. See you bye. See you bye. <laughs>